Hello and welcome back to the Invincible. Well, where we left off at is here in the uh oh what you call it, the rover. And we made it to the next checkpoint, which I thought was up here a little ways. But, uh... <sighs> Whilst traversing this planet, I'm becoming more and more convinced that what I know is not the same as what exists. What can exist. I must admit it's an interesting thought. But quite disturbing. I won't need the lander, Master Gator. What do you mean? You know very well what I mean, sir. I'm not coming back. Yes, sir. This is sheer madness. You're heading straight to the enemy base. This is the only way I can find out what's going on here. What happened to our people? Uh, I have several hours of travel ahead of me. You can still turn back. No. And if you try to convince me otherwise, I'll just turn the radio off. I'll stop insisting. Please just understand the position you put me in. As a commander, now I have to decide whether to risk detection by the Alliance. Because by putting yourself in their hands, you're risking not only your own life, but also the rest of the crews. Please don't turn off your radio. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Sometime later. I don't know what's going on, but uh... Something's not right with this game at the moment. They're approaching their coordinates. Yes, sir. Yes? I understand that no matter what I say, it won't change your mind. But please be careful. First, observe them from a distance, and only then take action. Mm. I will be cautious. Like always. Just because I'm acting against your orders doesn't mean I intend to be foolish, sir. In its own way, but even in an act of insubordination, you want to remain professional. I'll let you know when you cross their perimeter. Once you've crossed, hide the rover. Behind a bend or under a ledge, telemetry observation will be vital. Once we know the camp's weaponry situation, we'll decide what to do next. Copy that.
don't know. <laughs> I'm a little puzzled on this one myself. I don't know. I have a feeling we're in the dark. We have to find a way. Agreed. You should move on. Uh, that's not quite what I meant. But yeah, I probably should. The base is in front of me. Yes, sir, I'm not kidding. If you don't stop, I'll do it for you. Wow. What the? How did you do that? Yes, sir. I respected your decision not to come back. But while I disapprove of it as a commander, I agree with your conscience. But I won't allow you to kill yourself in foolish haste. I turn the rover's engine off remotely, and I'm not turning it on until you've concluded your reconnaissance. Understood? Did you understand? Yes. Apparently I have no other choice. After all, you said yourself that you would be cautious. Why the sudden change of mind? I... I don't know. I guess I'm more nervous about this meeting than I'd like to admit. The Alliance will gladly take advantage of your every weakness, Yasna. You must keep it together. I love how there's a lack of telling you what to do, you know. Some object is flying over their base. Can you tell me more? It's 15, 20 meters high. It has an upright silhouette. And it looks like a, a balloon. Uh, it could be a balloon. And that doesn't surprise you? Not everything that flies needs jet engines. What markings does it have? B1. What does it mean? It's an ID number. Denotes an advanced scout balloon. How far from you is it? Around 400. Not as far as I would like it to be. It might have you within camera range. It's not specifying if I need to get back in here or not. I mean... I've seen enough. Can I go on? The longer I put it off, the more nervous I get. All right. I'll no longer stop you. We'll most likely lose contact soon. So let me be clear. Your situation is highly precarious. We cannot trust the Alliance or expect them to be willing to help. If things don't go our way, I'll do everything in my power to negotiate your safe return to the Commonwealth. Worst case scenario, we'll opt for a prisoner exchange. Until then, please cooperate with them. And during the interrogation, don't resist. Astrobiologists generally do not possess information that's sensitive to the Commonwealth. At worst, you'll give away the details of our last mission. Of course, it would be better if that didn't happen. I know their methods of interrogation, and in all fairness... Hang on, sir. What exchange? I'm not a spy. I'm a scientist. I'm afraid that doesn't change anything. You want information about Regis Three. For that reason alone, they might consider you a spy. But what kind of spy exposes themselves to direct questions? A desperate one, Doctor. Thank you. 
sense we have no idea what's going to happen. Mm. I want you to know that you were always a fair commander, even if you were quite strict. I don't know what's going on in this game tonight, but it's got some buggy, buggy that's going what on. I'm trying to say is, please stop, Doctor, and tell me when you get back. How odd. What? There's no one here. Nobody. Impossible. Even if there aren't many of them in the camp, someone would have noticed you. I'm not blind, sir. There's really no one here. Don't get out yet. Could be some kind of trick. Not a living soul. Better for your safety if they make the first move. If you really don't see anyone. All right, then. Enter the base. Just slowly, with your hands up. to lose anyway. Your life, Doctor. <sighs> I'm going in. Clear. For now? I can't hear anyone either. Okay. I will leave this up for a minute. Y'all can pause if you'd like. Okay. I'm at the central module, in the headquarters. You walked in, just like that? Yeah, the doors were open. Unbelievable, just unbelievable. I have a record of their mission. Each step, location, units, including dates. I'm all ears. Day Zero, landing place. Their main ships in sector AQ-28. The Invincible? What? They didn't move it? Huh, seems so. I'll try to track it down. Please tell me what else is in there. Oh, like us, they became interested in the ocean. They got there on the seventh day. Hmm, quite late. I guess they weren't in a hurry. 
Before setting up this base, there was a station not far from here. But seemed very determined to reach this area. They dug a vast system of tunnels. When did they finally get here? On the 15th day of the mission. They conducted research and during excavations found... You won't guess. Metal structures. So we had no chance to outrun them. Yeah. And they were already at an advanced stage of works when we were still in orbit. In the end, they sent a convoy to a neighboring sector. So, that was their last move? Well, there's no information about their return. Maybe I'll find them there. Highly probable. Do you know what the current day of their mission is? They left on the 25th day. That's all I know. Well, I can't back out now. I have to follow them. Well, it's your decision. Although I admit I'm also starting to wonder what you'll find. People, Astrogator, they must be somewhere. I'm sending a satellite. Soon I'll have an image of the area where the ship landed. We'll see if the Invincible's still there. I'll continue to search their base. On the 24th day, they sent a convoy north to the sector. Oh, to the sector where I found Gorski. Do you suspect they went after him, having detected his signal? Oh, surely they could detect him. They... they could have detected all of us. But would they really do something about it? Well, for some reason they left their base. I'm assuming that has something to do with it. Astrogator, this doesn't make any sense. You can't just wrap up the whole operation. Anyway, the first thing they would take were vehicles and equipment. Only the people are missing here. When you admire a beautiful view, an hour seems like a minute. But a minute on a hot stove will seem longer than an hour. Does Regis 3 feel like a hot stove? Sometimes. Okay, how do I get back down? Okay, I got up here and I don't know how to get out of here. The lack of button tree. The, the, to tell you what to do, that's actually bothering me. How do I get out of here? The difference between past, present, and future is nothing but a persistent illusion. That's a quote, right? Yeah. I'm not sure why it came to mind. How do I get out of here? Yeah, this is not very helpful. It's not telling me...
That's not what I need either. Doesn't seem like any button's helping me. I'm not sure what to do in this situation. I am stuck in this. Whatever this is, it cannot seem to. What in the world? Fills down. I open the passage. We can follow the convoy route now. When you're ready, Doctor. Did it mean no actual? One more minute, and our satellite will be over their ship. So oh, we're lucky. Clouds are low. There. Oh. Are you still looking? Mm-hmm. Not here either. Ah, bingo. Yes? Found They're still on the planet. You can fly away. Good to know. Thank you. Moving on. It's still quiet. It's eerie. I should move. Oh, there's no time. I don't trust that thing. I don't know which way we came, which way we didn't. Uh. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Status? 
Nothing's changed, Astrogator. Understood. I'm leaving the base, going after the convoy. Astrogator. One minute. I've got some crucial information. I had to make sure before I told you. What is it? It's about Gorski. He's alive. What? Uh, but how? You, you said he died during the night. Correct, I did. I couldn't let you go back to those ruins. But once you've given up on returning to war, I sent Hopper back for him. Artie carried the doctor on board and secured him. Now Gorski's in the infirmary. How could you, sir? I, I believed Gorski was dead. I blamed myself for his death. And now you dare say you did it for my own good. If I hadn't lied, you'd be willing to risk everything to save him. His chances were insanely small. I had to get you out first. If Gorski died because you waited too long... But he didn't. Thanks to you, Jasna. Yeah, lack thereof of direction. It's very hard to tell which way you're supposed to be going. I mean, there's nothing to tell you, nothing on the ground to, you know, give you a clue. Okay, there's some tracks, let's follow that. None of that. It's kind of hard to know where the hell you're supposed to be going. Much less what the hell you're supposed to be doing. Nothing, really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Huh? Right. Thank you. The excavator has a massive work area. They had photos of the site in the database, taken before they started digging. It's unrecognizable. Inside, there's a structure. Yes, a metal one. Similar to the ones on the surface. But these are completely hidden underground. Interesting. They found a sizable object deep underground. It stands out from the rest. It's not a part of the structures, but rather an independent, autonomous machine. Also metal? Yes. So, a robot? Or something else that finally looks familiar? Well, it looks a lot more like a robot than the other structures. Well, so far this is the way, I just... <sighs> 
Yes, sir. Everything's all right? Yes. Yes. I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as you find something... I'll report it. No worries, sir. Astrogator, I've already covered most of the convoy route. I'm entering a more enclosed area. A ravine, to be precise. I see. Can I count on a tactical report? Of course. A simple analysis of the situation won't hurt anyone. Hmm. That's for sure. You choose there when right there was a lot smoother. Uh, that makes no sense. Uh, how about staying on the road for which I was already on? I mean, that kind of made sense to me. <laughs> Plan your route to the convoy. Hmm. This mission drags on so much. Sometimes I think you're gonna take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No. No, I don't. I still think we have to go there. If they're not in the base, they must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy, or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. It would be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, though. It's your call, Yasna. Uh, actually, I don't think it will make much difference. I'm heading straight to the convoy. I don't think there's anybody on this flipping planet. I'm nearing the destination. From now on, I'll be on foot. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Actually, I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. Seems like a site will collapse. How typical of the Alliance. The radiation level is rising rapidly. Yes, now be careful of radiation, of other people, just... One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, so you've already reached the convoy? It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest.
And there's another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one? How many of those together? Is it that? Dead, fortunately. I admire your composure. Well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Hang on, someone's here. Oh no. Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. After seeing their base, I had a feeling it might end like this. Still, I wonder, what were they looking for? Was it that they killed? How about the fact that his arm has been ripped right off his body? Um... Yeah, that's kind of a... Here he thought. feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. Oh, another hole. Great. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. Okay. okay. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. Convoy's heading somewhere. They're getting close to where I am now. They're here. Sending a probe. Oh. They're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. Oh. Looks like they found whatever they were looking for. The transport's leaving. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. The photo is such poor quality. I can clearly see the fear on his face. One of them is staring with concern at an instrument. Some sort of meter. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from... whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether you should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, uh... Rightly so. I'd be scared out of my mind, not for... What of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel? And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... 
Total panic. Everyone's trying to escape. There's also a second antimat. It's shooting into the air. Unbelievable. Astrocator. The antimat's new objective is to eliminate. Instead of protecting. What happens next? The second antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Now that explains the guy's arm too. Right there's the arm being shot off. Okay. One by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. Uh, I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis 3 doesn't spare you. Damn this mission. I curse whoever sent us here to play some half our spy game. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. It killed him. The machine just killed him. Oh, fuck. Yes, no? The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell, so it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational, and it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope, while moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Oh, right. Not hearing you object, sir. Go ahead, Yasna. I know you'll do it anyway. Which tunnel? You got three of them here. Which one? on the tunnel. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's an arc turn. Coming at me. Ha. Huh. Carrying something. the cave. Yasna, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Oh! I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. 
Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. All right, then. Can you tell me what's in there? Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. And why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. Nothing here I haven't seen before. Just a lot of metal bushes. Same as the ones near our camp. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are, how to put it, fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material. Those fruits. Hmm. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll come closer first. time yes now one step at a time Not sure what to do here. Let's see what's up here. Oh, another body. Is that also the antimatter doing? No, this body's different. There's no visible injuries. Then what is the cause of death? Ah, I don't know. It could be anything sepsis, internal bleeding. Organ failure? Oh, I won't examine him now. Ah, uh, my head is killing me.
Okay, I see the O. There we go. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Metal bushes growing out of metal soil. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Can you please check them, yes, sir? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use the detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm, interesting. Sounds similar. To the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Or perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... All grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive. I simply use terminology I'm familiar with. But we can't talk about life here. For me, it's a virus. A parasite on this planet. I would never classify viruses as living organisms. Now, there are theories that we humans have a common ancestor with parasites. An RNA particle. That's true. However, we can function on our own. It's not easy, but we can. Viruses, on the other hand, need to come into contact with what science calls life in order to activate. Here, there isn't really any evidence of it, is there? Correct. It truly is a phenomena. Active parasites on a planet housing nothing but scrap metal. I can't handle it anymore. Disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. No, you must have done something. <laughs> Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Huh, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Good. Please follow it.
like you're a fine astrocate. You always have been. <sighs> what are you saying, Doctor? You've always been a great support for the entire crew. No. Don't die on me now. I'm begging you. Don't give up. You can't. Decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all ears. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine. You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Marit? She can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I... I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. And what we can do to aid them. For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors... I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first antiman told us a lot. Thanks to destroyed. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? It's cooled down. Actually, it's right in front of me. even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway so let's hear it hello base this is antka hello antka tesla here i can hear you reporting 25th day of the mission 7 15 a.m we arrived huh. i saw it on the slides we encountered a terrain obstacle but it has been removed you can skip ahead if you would we've established permanent access to the extraction site separated the material for research now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Huh, th there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. We have a 
sort of discovery? Oh, I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely... Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise three-fold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflective light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? The navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Huh. But why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. My robots grouping and flying together, similar to flies capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, Field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how, Barrett. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? All we can do now is believe that they will eventually snap out of it. And when they do, hope they won't be used as guinea pigs. We both know this is going to be difficult. Yes. And? I don't even know if I'll survive this mission. Will I see them again? Will they develop properly? Even if it all works out, we will be strangers. They won't remember us. All that's left is hope. God damn it. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'd be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. I'm not too sure if I want to open it fully. You see what I'm saying? It's too 
awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. see broken containers no sign of the flies just plenty of bushes you have some theory sir everything that comes to my mind seems absurd you go ahead sir as I see it no idea is too absurd right now I haven't quite thought it through not yet Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes, just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects, and the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are persuading yourself to define it as a life form? I haven't changed my mind. I still see it as an unusual phenomenon. Though now, I consider it far more dangerous than before. It's not life, no. It's quite the opposite. Destruction. A virus at best. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. But I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational, probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only. Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. I know how to get inside. Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? <laughs> I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Not sure what I'm doing. I should move. Time. 
Okay, so some common sense. I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. Registry could be valuable. Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Is it scared of you too? Uh, I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. <sighs> I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energobot, turning off the force field, then transporter, departure. All clear? All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Is the still with you? Yes, it's around here. Somewhere. Just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but everyone here's dead. Sugar stuff in the spine. It's more than that. I'm starting to understand the suffering they felt in their final moment. They were left to fend for themselves, yet unable to do so. Second, folks. Go. No. I don't know why, but for some reason. The field is no longer a problem. Meaning? Disabled. Good. I hope. Will this really help our people, Astrogator? It will, I'm sure. So, what? Off we go? Yasna, what are you wondering about? Hmm. I don't know about that.
Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. Yeah, you'll have a lot of time to think about it. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course. I'm on it. Although, first, I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Must admit, they look amazing. Jasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Hmm. Now I got a question. Why would you just stand there and watch the you know, swarm of whatever these things are just coming at you? Why would you not close the door first off? Why would you even open that door and not go out the small door so you could go in and stay away from it? Are you kidding me? should interrupt your uh, speech sir it is quite interesting to listen to yes sir <laughs> this is too much i'll see how many times already <sighs> please forgive me astrogator for continuing to well 
be alive. You know that's not what I meant. If it weren't for me, you could have just flown away, sir. That's not true, Doctor. At least we learned the truth about this planet. And the inorganic beings that inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure Koval. If anyone from the Alliance survived, and they already started their research into a cure. I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Or you'll find more corpses, Yasna. Hey! Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Oh, I hope it's a latter. If it caught the west wind, it would have fallen in this area. We're lucky. It's hanging from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it. Maybe that won't be necessary. Oh, shit. Somebody's here. If all you're seeing is dots on the tracker... No. I can see them with my own eyes. Two of them, even. Two people, alive. Huh? Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? One was wearing an Alliance suit, a green one. The other one, I don't know. He looked different. I see. And... Now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor. I know what I saw. Two people alive. Some of them survived. And you're going to look for them. <laughs> yes. I'm glad we understand each other, sir. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Thank you. How are you feeling? Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. I don't know where frustration ends and a contused lung begins. But at least... Yes? I'm alive. You know what, sir? It was these flies from the very beginning. What do you mean? My accident, for example. It, it's true, I, I hurt myself badly back then, damaged a radio. But that's not why I lost my memory. Soon after, flies flew from the bushes. Right. There were bushes there too. They subjected me to an electromagnetic field. Moreover, I believe the same thing happened to our people in the camp. To the antimat in those tunnels. And to the whole convoy. Yes.
I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Where is this balloon? Status? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Trying to figure out from up there. Status? What's new? Well, nothing really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Right. Be a different story if you could see better. Uh There it is. I don't know where it's at. Okay, not this. Fallen balloon. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, oh, nothing, sir. It's just in my mind it sounded like like the title of some Renaissance painting. The fallen balloon of Regis. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I found the recorder. So fall on the recorder of Regis. <laughs> Please stop. From the top. Let's see. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. Huh. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. Huh. The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. It found some water reservoirs, many of them. 
Rocks, water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units, nor significant changes in the surroundings. The balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. And they're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square, next to the vehicles. Two vehicles that weren't there before. Oh, they've left. There are no vehicles. There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. Or to the ship. But why didn't they wait for the convoy to return? Maybe they didn't know the others were in trouble. Doubtful. It was after the clouds attack. Well then, apparently that's how the Alliance treats its people. Lousily, without dignity. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. There are actually quite a few of these. Oh. I captured the moment I entered the base. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon. I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. Wait! You're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man. So he's real after all. I knew it! I told you! That you did. Please forgive my doubt. But where is this man now? And can we expect any more? I think he's near the base. Judging by the last slide, the Alliance must have a hideout there. And we need to go back, I guess. Well, I know it says to go to the hideout, but you know what? I'm looking up here at the clock, and uh, we've been here for quite a while, so gonna have to say that they're gonna have to call it here I do appreciate y'all coming in and watching and hanging out with me and uh, yes I know I don't do a whole lot of talking during this one but it's a lot of listening more than anything um, it does its own dialogue meanwhile though I do appreciate y'all being here and if you liked what you're seeing go ahead and hit that like button for me please because it does help the channel to grow and to be seen and if you're new and want to see more Feel free to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified of any videos that get posted or live streams that I may do. In the meantime, though, y'all stay safe, take care, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye! Yes.